Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. I've got a new toy here at the shop and I wanted to show it off to y'all. For anyone that's doing any kind of big hole drilling, like in big thick pieces of metal, and you're tired of your old drill press just ain't cutting it anymore, this right here is a very, very, very good option. So this right here is Milwaukee Mag Drill. If anybody's unfamiliar with them, they're more or less like a portable drill press. That's basically what they are. Now it comes in two sections. You have the magnetic base right here, which you can buy this separately, and then you have your drill chuck up here, which these come in all different sizes, and you can also buy them separately. So for instance, if you just want to get a base model, it comes with a smaller drill, you can use it for a while until you need something bigger, and then you can get a really, really big drill attachment on here. But how they work is, pretty much, you can move them wherever you want to. you got to have a real big, thick piece of plate for the magnet to work. It's got a little button over here for the magnet. You turn it on, and it will not move after that. It's actually pretty amazing. But it's got two really strong electromagnets in the base that hold it to the steel. The cool thing about these are, you can mount them upright like this or you can mount them either vertically or overhead it doesn't matter very very cool setup but I'm going to show you some of the characteristics that I got on my drill here and it may help you in your choice in buying one so let's take a look at it we're looking at the control panel right here on the back of the mag drill setup and it's got some pretty unique features on it now not all setups have this so be sure that you look really closely when you buy one first thing is you can't operate the drill. You see me trying to cut it on here without the magnet being on, so that's a pretty good safety feature. Anyways, turn the magnet on. Everything's in place. And then you can turn on your drill. The cool thing about this one, it's got variable speed on the drill itself. So you can crank it up to whatever speed you need it. Hit the big button right here to stop it, and this one here also has a reverse switch. Same principle, still variable speed. Great thing about it is, is that you can tap with this machine as well. So you hit forward on here, and you would lower your gib down to engage the tap, and then it would feed itself. You would hit stop, and then you could hit reverse, and it would back itself back out. Pretty unique feature, and the controls real, real easy, real self-explanatory. But that's one really cool thing that I like about this unit. Another nice thing about the base is a lot of mag drills. Once you secure them down to your plate, they can't move from that position. So you have to cut the magnet on and off to get it to do fine adjustment. Cool thing about this model is you turn your magnet on. Turn your magnet on. There we go. I didn't match the button hard enough, apparently. It's got this little handle here in the back. You can loosen it up and you can move the drill a little bit in all directions. You can even swing it out over one corner or the other corner. And you can move it back to a fair amount. My, uh, my little stop right here is in the way. But you can move it back and forth, probably give or take three quarters of an inch, something like that. So that's a really, really nice feature. You could be just a scotch off and you can move it. So cool thing about that. Another nice thing about this model is for this drill, which is a model 4261, which I posted a little early in case you forgot, is the drill can be reversed. Meaning, if you notice the drill down here is real, real close to the base. You can take there's four bolts out and you can flip this around that way the chuck is over here so you can have the option of using a bigger cutter. I think this model right here says it can handle a hole saw or an angular cutter up to four inches so that's that's pretty amazing and I think uh, thickness rating for it is anywhere from one inch to two inches thick in steel so that is extremely impressive for something this small one other thing about this model is it's got a little scale over here. It's got inches and millimeters, looks like, or maybe centimeters. But 
I I think that's kind of kind of worthless because this drill can be mounted in looks like three different locations for different heights and that's going to mess you all up unless you're paying attention to where it starts and where it ends pretty much but I guess it would be kind of handy to make a rough hole but uh, one thing I was going to show is the gib assembly as you can see we've got a uh, more or less a rack and pinion and according to the book here this is a 10 to 1 ratio so if you put a pound of pressure on this handle it's putting 10 pounds to the drill itself so say if you put down five pounds of pressure on this handle you're putting 50 down on the tip of that drill so you don't have to bear down nearly as hard as you do with other types of machinery especially by your own hand and whatnot so pretty cool little assessment and uh, the capacity for the twist drill, I think it said was 7 eighths, which I'm sure it can do more than that, but that's uh, probably outside its pay grade. But uh, a couple other cool things, in case you wanted to go to a certain depth, it's got this nice little depth gauge here on the sign that you can set it for different heights. And that is pretty much it, that's it in a nutshell. I'm not sure what the horsepower rating is on this motor, it doesn't it didn't say anywhere in the manual and I can't find anything else but uh, this is a UL listing so American made ain't no China export here so very 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 good nice design so the moment y'all waiting for drill something dang it show us the action so let's take a look at it okay I was gonna show something really quick this right here is all the way down on this stand. If you notice, I'm still about an inch from getting to the base plate. So, the cool thing about this is, this gib frame right here, if you notice, there's two holes right here. There's another two right here where the drill's already mounted, and then it's got one below it, two holes right here. So you've got three choices, as I said earlier, to mount this. So, I'm going to have to move this to down here. So, I imagine they put it there for shipping. Uh, it could have been anywhere, honestly. But if you notice, it's a lot more compact, I believe. And the chuck wouldn't be into the table when it was all the way down. So, just a small little thing, but we had to take care of it. Here's a little bit better look without the drill on it. And like I said, that's reversible. You can put it any way you want to. And the cool thing about this setup is it's got interchangeable cord on it more or less that other models that come with this magnetic base just hook right up to them you don't have to do any wiring or anything like that okay that was a bigger pain in the butt than I thought to take them bolts out and, and lower this but we're there now anyways I got the magnet clamped down so I'm going to use the base to get it over that mark so just eyeballing it about right there Turn drill on. started. I change the bits. Alright, start it again.
Apparently I didn't have that tight enough. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. How come I couldn't do that the first time? Alright, let's try that again. I will say this, once you slip a drill bit, and I guarantee you that wasn't the first time this ever slipped, they tend to do it a lot. But you can tell here, well, it's a hole in it. <laughs> but chips, as you can tell, none of them got really hot. None of them turned discolored or anything like that. Plus, I was running really slow, but I was running dry too, with no coolant. But yeah, that that was surprisingly easy, other than my bit slipping. But that's my fault. So yeah, you can put precision holes in something, and super super nice. Uh, I think I'm gonna like it. Well, as y'all can tell, I've got a nice place to put my post vise now. Now, concerning the mag drill, a few of the things I wanted to talk about is I'm sure some of y'all probably noticed that I wasn't very coordinated when I was running this machine, and that's because this is the first time I've ever ran a mag drill. So, I don't know all the capabilities that it can do. I just showed you every ones that I read in the manual and some of the ones that I've seen in person. Now. I'm sure other people are thinking, oh, that's a really expensive one-trick pony, and that's where you're wrong. Uh, I'm going to let the narrator take over and show you some of the other cool things that the mag drill can do. One thing the mag drill excels at is using angular cutters, and that's what they were designed for. Not all mag drills can use angular cutters. If you see that four-sided shank they got on there, you need a special adapter for your mag drill. Now, they're pretty cool. They range from, I think, like 9 sixteenths all the way up to 4 inch. I think there are some 6 inch angular cutters. You can see there's a whole set over there and you can buy individual ones as well. The cool thing about them is you can get them high speed steel or carbide, meaning that you can cut a piece of hardened steel if you need to. So, pretty cool stuff. One last thing I was going to show is this company, American Machine Tool Company. And they make all kinds of good stuff. I highly recommend you check them out for the industrial use. But one thing that, that caught my eye was portable line borers. Now, if you notice down there, there's a mag drill mounted on that side that's powering that line borer. It is extremely nice to have something that can be portable like that and still be affordable for even the everyday user. I will have to say they're a little bit pricey, but for what you're getting, pff, that ain't a drop in the bucket. As you can tell, they've got different uh, size boring bars. That one there looks like it's uh, 96 inches. And they've they got all different kinds of sizes. They've got different kits for different lengths for different support. they got a whole bunch of stuff. I highly recommend checking out their site. 
one thing I was going to show is, is some of the pictures that customers have posted right there. They're boring out a set of lines there from that backhoe bucket. Uh, some equipment that I don't even recognize. Uh, there's a knuckle there for the excavator. I do recognize that one. You can tell they're mounted on their side. They're mounted upside down. That one there is mounted outside. Uh, they put that straight to that excavator bucket. It works on old uh, magnet drills too. Also, uh, that's a really big articulated front end loader there. But all kinds of different ways that people have uh, come up with mounting these. Also, you can do a really, really precise hole. That's a six inch hole, I think, with a spot face in it. And that was all done with that mag drill and the portable line boring machine. But very, very cool product. And if you're in business to do special stuff like this, then the mag drill is a must have. As you can tell, it can do a lot of stuff very, very efficiently too. And as uh, far as mag drill is concerned, that's pretty much it. I've got one other thing to talk to you all about is I got contacted a little while back and a guy sent me some of the flashlights that he's designed. They're known as Smart Flare. I'm going to put a link in the description, Horsefly, uh, where you can find this product, uh, plus their website and everything that they make some other cool products. And a uh, couple other things about this light is it's got multiple positions on it, as you can tell here. You can kind of pick it up and go the other way too. Kind of looks like a little sphinx, kind of neat. But uh, it's got different modes on it like a lot of newer flashlights do now. You've got the front on, which the back won't be. You've got back on. You've got both sides that are on. And then you've got a strobing light, more or less, for like emergencies. Like if your uh, car breaks down, you can put this back behind your car, and people can see it from you know fairly good distance, thousand feet, something like that. So, real, real handy light. I've been impressed with how it's made. And uh, another cool thing, just like the mag drill, is it's got magnets in it. You can uh, turn it on, stick it on something, and it'll just hang there pretty cool and magnets are pretty stout it they don't come off too easily so that's always good and it's got a little clip on the back right here where you can put it in a uh, dual mode where you got both sides going you can hang it up kind of like a lantern so be pretty neat if you were camping or something like that need something in your tent and uh, once again this uh, product is known as smart flare and that's about all I've got today once again guys I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Like this video. Subscribe to me if you hadn't already. And once again, guys, y'all take care, and I'll see y'all next time.